Hello Sagittarians! Welcome to your October love reading and welcome back to my channel Luna Sync Tarot. If you have a moment, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to like this uh, reading. I do love readings for each sign for each month. Also, leave a comment if it resonates with you, good or bad. I'd love to hear about it. I'd like to, I'd like to know how these readings um, resonate with you. All right, so let's sync up. Let's get right in here. I have pulled a card for you, for your partner or your love interest in October, the combined energies, and also the outcome or what needs to be understood and integrated. In the position of you, we have the Three of Wands. So this is a card of somebody who has been working on some sort of creative endeavor or some sort of entrepreneurial enterprise or possibly working on the passionate uh, creative connection that you have with your partner. And you're at the point where it's well underway, your plans are well underway, and you've put it out there to the world and you're waiting for feedback. It's about a broadening of horizons. So. You have big plans and your um, perceptions, your beliefs, your, your, um, I don't know, your feelings, everything is broadening. Your horizon is broadening and you're really looking towards the future. That's in the position of you and what you're contributing to the love relationship in October. In the position of um, your partner, your love interest, the person that you're thinking about at the time in this reading is the Eight of Swords. So this is a card of limiting beliefs um, and they're self-imposed. It's kind of like the way that you talk to yourself or the negative way that you talk to yourself or um, old uh, sort of negative limiting beliefs that you have that are creating some sort of obstacle or some sort of self-imposed prison. It's sort of a mental prison because it's the suit of swords and that's air or mentality. So it's all in his or her mind. And so at the same time, while you are broadening your horizons and you're looking towards the future and putting, um, putting your, yourself out there, putting your creative, uh, project out there, putting putting yourself out there, your partner is feeling very trapped and very limited by some belief system that is no longer working for them. It doesn't serve them any longer. And um, it's really self-imposed. In the position of the combined energy is the Five of Swords. So if there was a conflict be between the two of you, this is a card in the reverse. It's the Five of Swords in reverse. This is a card of reconciliation. It's kind of like you have this conflict with your partner or your loved one or the person that you're thinking about and it goes on and on and on and you realize that they're not listening to you and you're not really listening to them and it's a it's a no-win situation, like nobody really wins in this conflict and it just keeps going on and on and on. You get to that point where you're like, I just want this to be over and I want to restore our connection. I want to get back to that place where we feel connected and copacetic and on the same page. And um, so the Five of Swords Reverse really is about that type of reconciliation. It's about making amends. Um, it can speak to past resentment. So like feelings of resentment from the past over a potential conflict that you might have had, um, negative emotions around that. But really the focus here is like, how can we resolve this conflict and come back on the same page? And this is in the combined energy. So it may be something that the both of you are feeling at this point. And then finally, in the position of the outcome or what needs to be understood and um, integrated is this Nine of Cups energy. And this energy is really about feeling very emotionally fulfilled, feeling very satisfied and contented. It's, um, it's called the wish card for that reason. You feel like... The, so if you are able to reconcile through this conflict, you get back to this place of feeling like, oh, thank God. You know, we're back in that place where we're vibing with each other and connected with each other and feeling um, emotionally fulfilled and, and connected and on the same page. This is a perfect opportunity to make a wish. So you really want to visualize what it is that you want. Set your intention. Visualize what it is that you want from this place of emotional contentment and fulfillment and gratitude because it is that energetic quality, those emotions, that emotionally, um, that emotional energetic quality that will support you in creating more of that in your life and re will really fuel the intention that you have um, behind your wish or behind what you want for your relationship. 
All right, let's pull some clarifying cards. Let's work with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. How does your partner feel about you in the month of October? And I'd like to clarify, you know, a little bit of uh, this Eight of Swords energy, this like feeling of um, just feeling trapped by some sort of belief, um, some sort of negative um, thought that he or she might be having. having. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands reversed. We have the world. This is how they feel about you in October. And we have the wheel. So I get a sense that your partner really does want to see change, but they feel blocked or stuck in some way. Um, they want big transformative change, um, but again, it's, it's blocked or it's stuck. And maybe they are the ones that are blocking that big transformative change. Um, because you see here that uh, they are blindfolded, they're loosely bound, they can easily get out of this prison of swords. Um, it really is up to them. And then we have the world. This is how they feel about you in October. They really think the world of you. Like, they they think that this relationship or you are are able to see things from quite a great distance and um, there's a wholeness. It's as if um, all of the pieces are integrated and there's a great sense of achievement as a result and there's a great sense of wholeness and so their feelings about this relationship are pretty positive and their feelings about you are um, very admirable. They really admire you and your ability to take this step back and see the future and they admire your broad horizons. If you take another look here, oh sorry, these are out of the frame. Let me put these back in so that you can actually see them and make sure that you can see them. Yeah. Let's describe this and then I'll pull these cards in. If you take a look here, the figure in this card, this is in the position of you, is looking out over the horizon, like into the distance, into the future. The figure here, which is the other, the person that you're thinking about in October, your love interest, your partner, is looking in and they're blindfolded. So sometimes when you see a figure in the tarot that is blindfolded, that speaks to really looking within or some sort of inner turmoil, inner conflict, or even just inner wisdom. So they're looking within, you're looking without. Now in the position or in the, 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 the world card really speaks to their admiration of your ability to take that 30,000 foot view and integrate all the pieces which they may be struggling with at this moment. We also have the Seven of Wands reversed. I'm going to put this upright for a minute. These two figures are um, embraced in a very intimate, um, they're engaged in a very intimate embrace. His eyes are open though, and he's looking at this lizard over here. And her back is turned. So the seven, this number seven again is about you know, six is very active and it's pushing outward. It's a very um, uh, outward moving number. Seven again is this retreat. And wands is about um, creativity and passion and that spark, that fire within you. So there's something about for your partner really needing to activate that inner fire in order to reconnect with you in your relationship in October. I'm going to put those aside. Let's pull some cards for you and how you are feeling about your love interest or this connection in October. I do get a sense that whatever's going on between you and your partner, you will make amends, you will reconcile and get back to that place of emotional fulfillment, if only because we have the Five of Swords reversed in the combined energy and we have the, the Nine of Cups, which is, you know, ultimate emotional fulfillment in the outcome. So for you, we pulled the Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving knight, but often it's the only knight, knight that's able to make it past the finish line. This is the knight that um, is able to manifest and they might take a little bit of time doing that, but they absolutely are able to get there and make it reality, make it happen. Now let's look at the imagery in this card though, because this is a little funky. He's holding her from behind 
and he's pouring this liquid down her mouth and it looks like very like erotic um there's something about the way that he has her captivated and is you know feeding her this liquid that is just really i don't know it's just really erotic and sort of sexy it makes sense though because the knight or the pentacles is about all things that are tangible right so the earth um food uh, liquid, sex, all the tangible things. So this is how you feel about your connection. For what it's worth, the Knight of Pentacles. All right, let's move on. I would like to clarify a little bit um, the Eight of Swords for your partner. What is your partner experiencing? Why are they in this self-imposed prison or Trapped by negative thoughts, negative beliefs. What is that about for them? Feeling like they are in a valley. They're not at the peak. Um, feeling unsuccessful. Maybe they don't feel like they've reached that point of achievement that you have reached. And potentially are not worthy. So maybe doubting themselves a little bit. Feeling a lack of uh, self-esteem in comparison to you know, the success that you seem to be demonstrating here in the, the Three of Swords in the position of you. Let's pull some more cards. I'm really curious about your partner and what they're experiencing internally and why. We have participation. So there's something about not able, not like not being at the table, right? They don't feel like they can be at the table. They're not worthy to be at the table. They haven't been invited to the table. Maybe they don't feel like they're a part of this thing that you have going on over here. And so if that resonates with you, maybe consider making an, an invitation, send, you know, like inviting them into this, um, this experience that you're having over here. All right, one more card for your partner and what they're experiencing. This is the Osho Zen tarot deck that I'm working with right now. Ooh, I'm gonna take the bottom card here because a bunch fell out. And also feeling like there's not, there's a lack of possibilities. You know, this card upright possibilities is about taking that 30,000 foot view and seeing quite a ways. Like you can see as, like look at that horizon. This eagle has, you know, this great vision. They can see very far from way up above. And, and the eagle can see all of the possibilities. When it's in the reverse, it's like, I can't see what's possible. Or potentially, I'm not part of what is possible. So again, if it resonates with you and makes sense, your partner could need you to extend some sort of invitation to them to join you in your state or in, in the thing that you're, you're, um, you're working out here, you're, uh, in your possibility here. I mean, again, you, three of wands, you have, you've gotten to the point where you can see your possibilities. You've put it out into the world and you're waiting for feedback. And so there's something that you're engaged with here that potentially your partner doesn't feel like they are a part of, and that might be hindering some of your connection here in October. Let's pull a crystal card for your connection. Halite. This one popped out right away. I'm gonna put this over here. Um, Halite. Can you see all these? Kinda, kinda sorta. Let's pull these over. So again, if this resonates with you, please leave a comment below. I love to hear about what's going on with you and I comment back. And also make sure to like the reading so that it can circulate amongst others. I have an Instagram channel, it's at Lunasync, so follow me there. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, but let's read about Halite. This is sort of like, it digs in a little bit deeper when I pull these cards. And it, it's often sort of the cosmic um, understanding or the more metaphysical understanding to whatever's happening between you and your partner. So this is the Master Cleanser 
Halite draws out impurities from your physical, energetic, and soul bodies. It dissolves old patterns, negative thoughts, and toxic emotions, promoting emotional well-being. Halite stimulates the meridians and grounds the healing properties of other crystals. The self-understanding is that subtle ties and influences may be affecting you more than you recognize. Unacknowledged feelings of abandonment or rejection or emotional neediness may underlie dis-ease. Detrimental energies picked up under the influence of drink or drugs could be affecting you, as could someone else's lustful or jealous feelings. But being spaced out and ungrounded also leaves you open to invasion by external forces. Okay, so because it mentioned um, influence of drink or drugs, I have to come back to the Nine of Cups and um, let you know that the Nine of Cups is often considered the card of indulgence. So indulging in food, indulging in drink. And again, this is in the position of the outcome or what needs to be understood and integrated. And I put that out there for anybody that that resonates with. Might not be for all, but it may be for some. The divination for Halite is that it's a time for a thorough clear out in your life. Declutter your space, including your car, detox your body and mind, and try a juice fast for vitality. The healing insight is regular detoxing and purification on all levels ensures well-being, as does being anchored on the earth. The frequency is earthy, the chakra is base, sacral, earth star, and solar plexus, the timing is spring, and the soul path is purification and spiritual discernment. So it could be that somebody needs to detox from some substances that they've been overindulging in recently. And that might be causing a conflict in this connection or this relationship in the month of October as well. Um, but I do see that in the position of the combined energy, I find the Five of Swords in the reverse very hopeful. Again, it's about making amends. It's about reconciling. It's about really, really realizing that this is a no-win situation. You're just sort of banging your head up against the wall and getting to the point where you want to get reconnected with your partner and restore your relationship back to that place of emotional fulfillment and happiness. All right, so Sages, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram at Lunasync, and uh, check back in. I'm wishing you the best October and the best start of your fall, and take good care.